All right, my friends, welcome back to another edition of Pass or Pull, the series on this channel where I provide you guys with all the relevant information you need to decide whether or not you want to spend your hard earned stones on an upcoming unit. And the unit in question for this video is the LR, Nappa, and Vegeta, which will be dropping on Global very, very soon. So as always, we'll be taking a look at the unit itself, of course, the category that they're bringing to the game, the potential banner, as well as the animations. And at the end of this video, I will be giving you guys, you know, my two cents about what I think generally most people should do, but the main purpose is to allow you guys to reach your own conclusions. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into it. And uh, let's start here with the animations first, because obviously that is very important to a lot of people, at least for me. Uh, if a unit has bad animations, even if their details are really, really good, I'm probably a lot less tempted to summon for them. Unfortunately, in this case, this unit has very, very clean animations. All right, so let's check those out first and uh, then we'll move on to the other stuff. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start here with the Nappa's animations first, because this is an exchange unit. So they start off as Nappa and then eventually exchanges into Vegeta. So there's the 12 key for Nappa, which attacks all. And this is the active skill. Which gives you the guaranteed dodge. And then we have the 18 key super for Nappa, which is a single target attack. And then we're gonna get the exchange into Vegeta. So it shows you getting hit here because the exchange happens when you fall below. I think it's 50% HP, but we'll confirm in a second. <laughs> so there's Vegeta killing Nappa. And then, you know, the card becomes Vegeta, obviously, after that. So that's the 12 key for Vegeta. And we have the 18 key. I love this Gallic Gun, man. I think it looks so sick. All right, one thing we need to pause on, because I think people might have missed it. When we get Vegeta killing Nappa here. It's like, that screen is super gruesome, man. Like, holy crap. You can, you can see, like, his limbs and his, like, neck getting, like, all contorted and stuff. Kind of funny, but, like, also kind of disturbing. All right, just wanted to point that out. Enjoy that. Okay, so there are the animations, guys. As I said, I really like them. I think they're some of the um, better animations in this game. I wouldn't put them in the same tier as, like, Gogeta and Vegito, but really, really clean really really nice this does it, it's quite tempting for someone like me that like has a hard time just like controlling my summoning urges uh, that being said i probably will summon all right i'm just gonna be straight up with you guys i'm just gonna put that out there right from the start i probably will summon but don't necessarily follow what i do because i'm not a good example of uh as my boy toon rami would say tokening responsibly because i don't all right so yeah just because i'm summoning doesn't mean you necessarily should. Okay, so let's start with the details now, or move on to the details for the unit. Their leader skill is Inhuman Deeds. Category key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 130%, or AGL, extreme AGL types key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Now, I've heard a lot of people clowning on this name, and uh, I don't blame them. It's, it's, it sounds pretty stupid, all right? <laughs> I, I forgot what it was called before actually like when it was on JP it was already a kind of weird sounding name but you know it wasn't as bad Inhuman Deeds is a lot worse than what it used to be 
used to be called something villains or something like that. I forgot, but either way, the, the point of the category, or the idea, the concept for the category, is that it consists of characters who have killed at least one of their allies, which I get, but Inhuman Deeds doesn't really, it, it's just not the best option, man, for a category like this. Like, I don't know what they were thinking, but I, I think they need some help in the category naming department. Actually, if you look at the recent categories, they just need help in making categories in general. Anyways, uh, we have the Inhuman Deeds category. Um, it, it's it, it's okay. We got Vegeta Nappa, LR Baby, Tech Broly, Int Rose, who of course isn't here yet, but he's coming for the five year. And then we have the new uh, upcoming free to play, LR Goku Black, uh, Frieza, Full Power Frieza here, STR Broly. Um, you know, basically what the concept of the category is, right? Units or characters that have killed at least one of their allies. And uh, if you take a look, yeah, it's, it's it's okay, you know? There's there's some good units here, but it's not the biggest category. It's not that small either, but it's like not the biggest category. I'm sure, you know, it can build a pretty fun team, but it doesn't really do it for me that much, especially with a name like Inhuman Deeds. But there's the category, you know? It is what it is. And super attack. So the 12 key is Giant Storm, which raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage to all enemies. And the 12 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and greatly lowers defense. The passive here is attack and defense plus 78%, key plus 5 when HP is 78% or more, plus an additional attack with 78% within the same turn after evading an attack, including super attacks, plus an additional attack and events plus 7800 at the start of each turn per existing enemy, and then exchanges with Vegeta when conditions are met. So in order to get this uh, additional 78% attack, you have to use the active skill, which gives you attack minus 50% and evades enemies attack, including super attack, for one turn and can be activated starting from the third turn from start of battle. An exchange condition into Vegeta, like I said, is uh, when you are below 50% HP, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle. Okay, so uh, overall, you know, a pretty decent unit, even in this form. Um, you know, you're looking at some really good AoE damage, and this is one of, if not the best world tournament unit now. But honestly, like, they're not necessary for the world tournament because we still have str broly we still have fizz broly we have lr krillin now so like you know if if you want to do well in the world tournament if you have those guys you should still be fine you don't need another like really good world tournament unit right and uh what else links same warrior race brutal beatdown tough as nails berserker over 9,000, shattering the limit and legendary power and categories are pure saints terrifying conquerors and inhuman deeds um, let's see, his additional attack plus 78% after evading an attack and attack minus 50% from active skill are both calculated separately, resulting in a debuff of, of minus 11% to his overall damage output within that turn. So even though you're getting plus 78% attack here after evading an attack, because you get debuffed on the active skill, you're actually overall doing less damage on that turn. Even though you're getting guaranteed dodge, which is great, right, because you're not taking any damage, um, you are doing less damage on that turn. So I think this part is really just there to, like, mitigate some of the attack loss uh, that you get from the, the active skill. So I know some people uh, were kind of confused about this. I was confused about this before, too, but this does make things more clear, all right? So that's the Nappa. Let's move on to the Vegeta here. His uh, 12 key super slash swing raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and lowers enemies attack. And then the 18 key is Gallic Gun raises, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and massively lowers defense. His passive restores 50% HP once only. So this, this of course happens when the exchange first happens into Vegeta, you recover 50% HP once only. And then key plus three, Attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional key plus 3. Attack and defense plus 18% when only facing one enemy. Plus an additional key plus 3. And attack and defense plus 20 plus 18% when attacking super class enemies. And then attacks effective 
against all types when key is 24. So, obviously 24 key, not the easiest to reach, but with this unit it is since he's getting key plus 3 here, key plus 3 here, key plus 3 for a potential key plus 9 just by himself. So if you're running double, uh, you know, key plus 3 leads, right? You got 6 key plus 9 key, that's already 15 key you're getting. And if you run um, plus 4 key leads, that's 17 key already. So you only need one key, essentially, from the board to get his 18 key super. So, um, yeah, getting 24 key for this guy, not too bad, considering how much key he gets from his passive. And uh, attacks effective against all types, obviously, is a very, very strong mechanic. So, uh, yeah, Vegeta is it, 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 quite... Uh, powerful yeah he's, he's really really good after the exchange um the only thing is of course you have to be below 50 percent hp which can be kind of hard to get depending on the event you're running um if you're doing something like you know super battle road or something like that then you should be fine but uh if you're doing like a regular token event then you might not see vegeta that often but yeah once he transforms into vegeta very very strong unit uh, what else? So he gets Royal Lineage and Prodigies as two new links, and uh, everything else does stay the same. So nothing else to say aside from that. Uh, so there is the unit, guys. You know, I think they're great. I think they're definitely a unit that I personally would want, especially because I really like the animations, but I don't think it's a unit that anybody really, like, must have. You know, like, there are must-have units in this game like the upcoming LR Vegito Blue, LR Blue Gogeta. And this isn't one of them. This is a very good unit, a fun unit to run, but uh, definitely I don't think is a must have. So take that as you will. Okay, lastly, we're gonna check out this um, potential banner here. And it's gonna be probably just your standard legendary summon banner, which means that we're most likely going to be getting a ton of featured units. Uh, as you can see here, the JP banner had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 featured SSRs most likely. Uh, most likely these featured SSRs as well, maybe a few swapped out here. But what that means is, you know, it's not the greatest value, right? Like, you really don't want to be summoning too much on a banner like this or any legendary summon banner at all. Uh, even with the LR UI Goku banner, where like UI Goku is no question better than this unit, I still didn't feel like people should have spent that many stones on the banner, just because legendary summon banners are never really a good investment. They're just never really good value, unless you get stupid lucky and you pull like 5 LRs in 300 stones or something like that, right? Like that's really, really good luck. Yeah, in that case you won, good job, but... The majority of people that will summon on these banners are most likely not going to get that good luck. And, uh, you know, a lot of times you're going to leave the banners feeling empty and feeling sad that you wasted so many stones. So, overall, there's the banner, most likely. There's the new category. There's the units. And those are the animations, which I'll play in the background as I give you guys my final concluding thoughts. Um, I think Vegeta and Nappa is a good unit. I think their banner is going to be pretty garbage, uh, just like most legendary summon banners. Um, the category, obviously, new category is not like a category you must be able to run, at least I think for most people, like unless you really, really like the concept behind the category. Um, it's not like a category that's like busted or anything like that. Um, and... You know, I just think that with the five-year anniversary coming, man, most people should skip this banner, all right? That's my thoughts. That's what I believe. Now, now I'm not going to be skipping just because I have a problem. I have a summoning addiction, so I still, I, I just got to try, right? I got to try at least a couple of multis. I probably, I'm going to stream it, I think. We'll see. I'm still deciding that, but either way, um, <laughs> I think most people should skip this if you are going to be summoning. I definitely recommend that you budget your stones very, very strictly. So if you are, you know, telling yourself like, I'm only going to do two multis, then only do two multis and then cut it off there. All right. If you're going to do four multis, then only do four multis. Don't rage summon if you get shafted and end up spending all your stones, which has happened to me more times than I care to admit. Um, just don't be, the, don't be that person. All right. Don't be that person. Like it's not worth it. 
it really isn't so anyways guys those are my thoughts those are all the things you need to know about this unit to hopefully come to your own conclusion and uh, make your you know, own decision about what is best for you as far as you know this upcoming banner this upcoming unit goes and uh, as always if you guys like today's video oh, you know what before that let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna be summoning for Vegeta and Nappa and if so how many stones will you spend but hopefully you tell me zero because that's what you probably should be spending on this banner all right that's it guys that is the video thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.